Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In today's video, I've got something really exciting to show you. But before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. If you've been following the channel over the past several months, you know that I've been reviewing the SVS Dual SB16 Ultras. But I've also been reviewing the Dual PB Ultras as well. And so these four subwoofers are incredible subwoofers, but I thought, you know what? What would happen if I hook all four of them up in this theater? And that's exactly what we've done. So let's check it out. I'll turn some lights on here so we can see. Is that a sweet looking sight? All right, so behind my 150 inch screen, as you can see, I've got three Clips La Scalas, and then in between those, on the bottom, we have dual SVS PB Ultras. Now those are the ported version, and on top of those, we have the dual SB16 Ultras. Those are the sealed versions. Now, if you've ever wanted to hook up more than one subwoofer to your receiver, especially if it only has one subwoofer output, or if your receiver has two subwoofer outputs, but you want to hook up, say, four subwoofers like I have in my setup, basically there's two ways that you can do it. The first way is you can use a Y cable like this. So you would plug this into the subwoofer output on your receiver, and then that would split the signal into two, and you would take a subwoofer cable here for subwoofer one, and this one would go to subwoofer 2 so that would go to subwoofer 1 there this end would go to subwoofer 2 and then you would do the same thing you would get another one of these connectors and do the same thing get two more of these cables plug into subwoofer 2 output on your receiver and now you can hook up four the other way that you can do it is using the line in and line out on the back of your subwoofer so what you would do is you would take something like this this is the opposite of this so this Y adapter has a male single and two female versus this one has one female with two male. So if you want to use the line outputs and inputs, what you would do on that, you would come out of your receiver with the RCA, then you would take the other end of the RCA and plug it into your first subwoofer. Then you would take something like this and come out of the outputs on the subwoofer plug in your second cable here and then this would go into the input on your second subwoofer now I previously made a video on connecting dual SB16 subwoofers I'll link it up here in the card above as well as down in the description below that'll show you more visually of how you would connect those two subwoofers together so I'm gonna run Odyssey, get this calibrated, and let's go through a demo. So I've set up in the primary listening position the calibration microphone using the included Denon cardboard tripod. And now we just need to plug in our calibration microphone to the Denon 6400. So we're gonna open it up, plug it in right here, and we turn it on. All right, for this demo, I've got the SVS Ultra Towers and the SVS Ultra Center set back up. So we're gonna run through Odyssey real quick, get this calibrated, let's see what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and dim the lights. Now we go in the setup menu of the Denon. All right, once we're inside the setup menu, we're gonna come down here to speakers. We're going to come down to Odyssey setup and we're just going to come down here to start. We've got the microphone connected, we've connected it to the front, we've got all the subwoofers turned on, they're set at 50%. The SVS subwoofers go from negative 60 dB up to 0 dB, so I've set them each at negative 30 dB, so that's right in the middle. We'll hit next. Now we're not going to use eight positions, we're probably going to use about three. So we're going to go ahead and go through this. 
So now I'm going to run through Odyssey real quick. I won't bore you of those details. Okay, so I just finished calibrating with three positions. So we're going to go ahead and complete the Odyssey setup. We're going to leave Dynamic EQ on. We're going to turn Dynamic Volume off. And Odyssey is going to finish calibrating the system. go to next and we are finished all right for this audio demo I'm going to be using the beginning scene to Dunkirk and for the video I've placed the microphone at my primary listening position but I'll be using the camera to kind of show you some close-up shots of the SB and the PB subwoofers in action Is it okay to come out now? That was intense. All right guys, well, hope you enjoyed that demo of the dual SVS PB16 Ultras as well as the dual SB16 Ultras. Now I've enjoyed the SB16s during the time that I've had them, but they just don't have quite as much output as I would like and don't dig quite as low. The PB16 Ultras, I'm still considering upgrading from my clips RSW15 subwoofers. The PB16s just have so much more output than my Clips subwoofers did, as well as they dig quite a bit deeper. As I mentioned in a previous video, the RSW15s are an amazing subwoofer, but for home theater, at about 30 hertz, they begin to lose output, and then once you get to 20 hertz, it's pretty much non-existent. So I want something that digs a little deeper, hits a little bit harder, and the SVS PB16s as of right now, are doing that. I'm still waiting to receive a PSA S3601. It's a sealed subwoofer with dual 18 inch drivers. So I'm really excited to get that here to kind of test that to see how well does it compare to the PB16 Ultras. So guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And as always, you guys be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.